Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time ever mm. in the studios, exclusively live, Come on. here in downtown Dallas, <laughs> my friend, Rebecca. Yeah. Third heart. Oh no, real kill, but I'll take Bishop Becker, you know what I'm saying? Bishop Becker. Yeah, that's how they know me down there. Hey y'all, how y'all doing today? It's going good. How are you, my friend? I'm good, I'm good. I'm blessed to be here. I'm excited. I came to Dallas, amen, to see my mama yeah. and check on it and then I came out of the K E D N. Jesus. What are you doing? Yes, he will. Oh my god, I keep it's been like it's been yeah. like forever. I know, because you can't even tell my age right now. I Cause I'm clearly we've been out of high school. Mm. I ain't gonna go there. I'm not gonna go there. I, <laughs> I, I, I told somebody recently, I'm 23. I, you know what? I'm if 23. He's 23, then I'm 22. Live, I tell you, outside the church, I'm not. My daddy said, you ain't getting older, you're dead. So I'm a good 31. Hallelujah. And I'm gonna run with that. On and my way see, to 32. Yeah. And what the end, end will be. Right on. Yes, but it's so good to see you. You are up to so much. First, let me say, yeah. I'm so happy for you. Oh, thank you. I'm, I'm so happy for you. You're doing so many amazing things. Shout out on this Dorinda Clark Cole. Hey, Amen. You better produce for Dorinda um, Clark You know, I, I'm going to be honest. When I, when I found out I had the opportunity to do this, it, it I'm going to be honest with you. I just told my, uh, the station manager, I didn't want to do it. Why not? I was nervous. Hey, let me tell you this. When God um, puts you in a place, in a space, mm -hmm. he's already equipped everything down on the inside of you. Mm -hmm. This opportunity is going to activate some things for you that you never knew existed. But if he didn't wow. put you in that place, mm -hmm. you would have never known to do those things. So wow. don't walk in that thing, brother. Yes, ma'am. Don't run from yeah. that. <laughs> don't walk in that. Go ahead. Man, look. You don't know what God is trying to do. Listen, I'm doing like, okay, okay, yes, Lord, I, I, I'm, I, I'm going to do what you want me to do. Yes. And I, I'm, I'm going to be good. I'm going to be, be good. fine. Yes, okay. but let's catch up. You got, got so much. You got Lena. I, mean, I do. Oh I have God. a seven-year-old. She is getting ready to be eight in uh -huh. July. Uh -huh. Um. So, yeah, she is, that little woman is a lot. But, <laughs> yeah, you know, you have some old, <laughs> probably not. Yeah. Um, my man, I don't know. We'll see how life goes. I mean, uh -huh. at least. But, um, so radio, I'm doing radio. Yes. I, I lead worship. So I do radio for two different stations in Houston. Uh -huh. Um, for, um, Bless B. Shout out to my Bless B family. What up? Uh, 93.7, the B. And then, um, Gospel Radio Nation. Shout out to y'all, the Kingdom Turn Up. Mm -hmm. So I do two different radio shows. Wow. And, um, lead worship so i've been doing worship conferences and all opening up for people shout out to brian courtney wilson we appreciate you wow. and, uh, and um and i let me say this i love you. the interview that you did with bishop Paul martin everybody he loves, is so hilarious but no he was so excited so the weird thing about that <laughs> interview um and if you're out there and you haven't seen the interview you can, you can uh type in bishop becker interviews um and it's b-e-k-a-h not b-e-c-c-a Thank you, Rebecca and the Bible. Hallelujah. <laughs> Read your Bible sometime. I digress. But um, it was so crazy was because he was so excited. Like, and I was freaking out in my head because I was like, why are you so excited? Talk about talk to me. You're like Bishop Paul Ward. Like, why are you so excited? He's like, Yes, you're a turn up girl. I was like, yes. I don't know. <laughs> but he had a good time. I had a good time. Um, don't really down to earth. Yeah, I would say that. Very, mm -hmm. very down to earth. Um, he wasn't being weird. You know what I'm saying? He could have been Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Some of you. We, we, we have seen. Mm -hmm. You know, but he wasn't. He was real down to earth, real good, spirit filled man. Awesome, yeah. awesome. Yeah. Let's get straight into it. We haven't seen each other in some years. Mm -hmm. So let's catch up. Okay. Uh, first and foremost, this foundation. Yes. How it was birthed. Okay, so um, the Sophia Threlkel Lupus Foundation um, really was birthed out of a personal um, experience for me. I was diagnosed with lupus in 2010, and um, during that time, well, before that, I had all these different signs and symptoms, but nobody really could identify what it was. Mm -hmm. um, so we talking excruciating joint pain. Um, I couldn't stay up past like four. I had like a four or five hour block and I'd be really, really tired, really exhausted. Mm -hmm. Um and so I remember waking up one day and I couldn't move any part of my body. Like everything hurt really, really bad. Mm -hmm. And so um my roommate at the time they called the ambulance or whatever and they took me to the hospital and I had these red spots on my legs. And I was like, Lord, I don't know what this is, like what's going on. 
Um, and so when I got to the hospital, they said that um, I had inflammation in my blood and I had signs of lupus. And I was like, okay, I only knew of one cousin that I had um, that had lupus, but her lupus was like, Lord, I'm like, Jesus, I can't be having lupus because this baby, she done went through everything. Like she had to have a kidney transplant and everything. And I was like, oh God, like what's going on? And so they're like, well, we can't service you for lupus because you haven't met all 10 symptoms yet. So then they started servicing me for um, rheumatoid arthritis. Mm -hmm. And so mind you this, I'm only 21, okay? I'm shifting around grocery stores like a 90-year-old woman, okay? Ain't nothing cute about that at 21. Somebody help me. Wow. And so um, then I got married, and then I got married, and I had Elena, and then it went from 90 to 100 real quick. Like, it just got really, really bad. So then I went through this time period where I couldn't walk and um and my husband at the time he had to carry me around and everything and then um I had this brand new baby she bigger than me because after I had her mm -hmm. I was like 110 pounds how does that work how do you have a whole baby and then just go 110 pounds wow. I don't really know um so went through that space um we actually had to move to Houston um because of my illness and everything that was going on Got to Houston. Shout out to Dr. Samuel Pagram. God knows I love you mm. to the moon and beyond. Because when I got to Houston, Dr. Pagram, I went to go see Dr. Pagram. And he was like, baby girl, I'll never forget. He was like, baby girl, you ain't kind of got lupus. You ain't got signs of lupus. You got full bone lupus. But we're going to get you together. And we're going to get you running today. Wow. And from that day um, in 2010, he... he stayed true to what he, was, what he said. Um, now, I was in and out of the hospital... For about two to three years, um, and that kind of set up depression. Um, and it set up depression because um, I was Miss Clark like three years prior. I was Miss Clark Atlanta University. Mm -hmm. I did pageants, Miss Atlanta, Miss Fulton County, all that good stuff. Right. To be um, bust down to I can't walk, I can't um, take care of my, you know, take care of my family. Um, my skin's breaking out, you know, then I went through this phase when my hair came out. Lord, then the enamel on my teeth was falling. I was like, Jesus, fix it. Like, what did I do to get all of this? Mm -hmm. um, what was your first thoughts when, uh, just be real with me. Yeah. I know you, I know yeah. you will. Yeah. But when the doctor first said, you have lupus, what were you thinking? I thought I was dying. Mm. Um, and I remember my dad picked me up from the doctor. And I told him, I was like, Daddy, they say I got it. And he was like, he stopped and he said, I'm going to say this. All sickness is not into death. Mm -hmm. He was like, we're just going to do what we need to do um, to get you to be as healthy as possible. And that's just what we're going to leave it. We're not going to. And, and, and that was encouraging in a moment. Um, and like to this day, it helps me. Um, but I did have some low moments in between that. Of course. Um, because my mind couldn't understand how we got here. Like, mm -hmm. how you go from singing, dancing, performing, you know what I'm saying, being able to move and get up whenever you want to get up, to I have to figure out at what rate can or how can I get out of this chair with the least amount of pain. And I'm only in my 20s. So, I don't, you know, I haven't really lived all of my life yet. And mm -hmm. so, um, yeah, it, it, was, it was very, very... Um, depressing during that time but something happened i was praying uh one night and i was like god i don't understand and i feel like this is from real i'm being real god I'm like i feel like this is kind of unfair because right. now what you know me my like for forever mm -hmm. i've been walking with the lord for a long time i ain't moonlight with jesus like, right like i tell people I, when i can't when honestly i came out of my mom's womb speaking in tongues you know what i'm saying like i've been knowing <laughs> jesus for a long time and i'm like hold on jesus now I'm out here, you know what I'm saying, rocking for you for real. How I get this? And like, mm -hmm. God dealt with me um, that I was going through lupus not for me, but for other people. Wow. That like he trusted me enough to carry this disease that I would, one, always give him glory. Two, um, even in an effort to want to help and empower and encourage and inform people, I would always show the love of Christ. And he knew that about me because that's how he created me. Yeah. And so um, even even in everything I've been through, there hasn't been a person that's come across my path that 
um, they haven't come to me and I haven't been able to help them because I've been there. Right. So I'm almost like street credit. You know what I'm saying? You can't really, mm -hmm. you know, you don't know what I'm going through if you ain't been through it. Right. And so that's what we do with the foundation. So um, one of our big things, um, we firmly believe that we, um, if you look better, you feel better. I know mm -hmm. it helped me. You know what I'm saying? It kind of gives mm -hmm. you a, a boost of energy that you may not have had or you felt like you lost who you were mm -hmm. in the disease. So we try to give that back or, or reinvent the best best thing of themselves but um so our mantra is uh we fight lupus from the outside in so we want you to look better so we do everything from helping you get the resources that you need to like your teeth to fill out low we mm -hmm. can send you over there mm -hmm. down there to get you know some assistance and that um connecting them with dars the division for rehabilitation services as well as our partnership with custom we express i know everybody been Purple hair is on the move. This purple hair. Love it. Thank you. Thank yes. You. Yes. For life. yes. Come on. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yes. So um the uh, we also make um we partnered with Custom Wig Express uh -huh. to give uh, custom units to people who've lost their hair um mm -hmm. due to lupus. And honestly, it's been a blessing because um I, I wanted something that didn't I wanted to partner with somebody that did wigs that didn't look wiggy and old lady like. Listen. Cause that's out there. And, right. and that'll make you feel better about yourself. That make you like I look really look like struggle. So we, <laughs> our goal is to really help give that glam life, that boost of confidence. So that's what we and do. that's the thing I love, Rebecca. You have really took it up on this cause on a stronger effect. Okay. Because you know usually when we hear about certain things, we get down. But you yeah. you're living it. Yeah. You're, you're taking it to the next. Uh, Degree and just said, I'm taking authority over it. Yes, and that, thank you, Bruce. That is like so spot on because that was the other thing. I'm very big on even the people that we service. This woe is me campaign ain't gonna get us nowhere. And I'm trying to showcase um, to all those lupus survivors out there that, hey, just because you have an illness don't mean you got to get in the corner and die. You don't. Right. Whatever life that God gives you every day is a gift. Mm -hmm. So every gift that you have, do your part, mm -hmm. encourage somebody else. Because I do believe, um, where it's like since I've been on this journey encouraging other people, my health ain't got better. Wow. There is something attached to that. Like, I'm literally, I haven't been to anybody's hospital, thank you, Jesus, in three years. Because I've been out here being about his business. You get what I'm saying? Wow. And I ain't got to be church to be about his business. But you can be about God's business, encouraging somebody, supporting mm -hmm. somebody, giving them mm -hmm. words of encouragement, just empowering them. And letting them know, hey, you ain't got to quit just because you got this this disease. It's okay. It's all about taking ownership. Yeah. You know, when um when I decided to return mm -hmm. after my little sabbatical from radio, I remember God giving me this before I stepped into the studio. He said, you're not doing it for Royce. Thank you. You're doing it to represent the ones who are not able to do it. Yes. And as you know, I lost two significant people. Yeah. Back to back. Yeah. My grandmother last year yeah. at the age of 94 and my aunt before that. Yeah. And they was dealing with different things. And it finally hit me. I said, I'm representing them. Yeah. Let me be a voice to the voiceless. Yeah. And I think that's what we have to do. When God gives us these platforms, folks, yeah. Yeah. use them for a purpose. Thank and you. not, you know, that's why I, I want to... Not to build your personal brand. It ain't about you. That's right. what we would get like. It's really, it has nothing to do about you as an individual. We're all just vessels mm -hmm. um, here to be used by our Father. Exactly. Exactly. Can we take a break? Okay, we're gonna take a I'd break. I'd like to take a break. Okay, we're gonna you know, break. I'm with Bishop Becker, so yes. the boss said when Bishop Becker comes, we're gonna have to take a break. Okay, take a break. I'm with you. All right, right. And we, we'll be right back. Cool. <laughs>